what would you want the biggest take home points to be for clinicians when they're interpreting the data from the study? Well, I think what I've taken away from the study is that this class really does have cardiovascular benefits. Um, and they're very consistent on the heart failure, but also seen for renal and, and, and vascular events as well. And so that notion of this being yet another study that supports the use of the class in cardiac patients for clinical benefit, uh, I think is my biggest takeaway. Um, and so there are a lot of patients who this is applicable to who've been treated with other agents. And so we have to really retool the regimens uh, as we see patients over and over um, in, our, in our office. So I think that's my takeaway. All right, so obviously the data from this trial is pretty impressive. Uh, like you said, it shows the non-inferiority. Where does this place ertigaflozin in regard to the rest of the SGLT2 inhibitors when sort of deciding which therapy might be most appropriate for a patient with diabetes? Well, you know, largely any class of drugs is, is felt to be a class effect. And I think the pattern of um, benefits and, and findings really fit a, a class effect. Um, there wasn't any heterogeneity in the, in the meta-analysis. The one is on cardiovascular death that the first trial, uh, Empereg, seems different than all the others. Um, but, uh, you know, there, I think, unfortunately, especially in the U.S., cost considerations and what the, I'll say it, stupid insurance company uh, will cover uh, and what hoops we have to jump through becomes unfortunately a, a dominant factor when choosing within a class. Um, so it's one of the most frustrating things in practicing medicine these days, but, but that would be a factor. Um, I think the fact that it looks similar means that it, there wouldn't be really a distinguishing feature um, pharmacologically uh, to choose between this and other agents. This sort of just adds to the excitement surrounding the potential of the class in cardiovascular um, treatment and cardiometabolic health. What could we expect to see next in regard to ertigoflozin and what we might learn from this class? Well, I think you're quite right that we're in the midst of a huge change in mentality about how we manage patients with diabetes, where we're thinking now of the clinical effects and less so, not ignoring it, but less so the glycemic control as a primary goal. And certainly in high-risk patients, as we studied, that notion of picking classes of drugs to provide cardiovascular benefit uh, is now starting to become the first goal, uh, followed by good glycemic control. And so I think our clinical findings sort of add to the full body of evidence that supports that um, and is exciting, I think, there. Um, I don't know exactly if there are further big trials planned with urticlofloxin. We certainly have a lot of more analyses to come from this study. Um, we'll be looking into the details of heart failure um, probably at the next Congress, and then we have a lot of information on the, the kidney benefits. We showed some in the, in the main program, uh, but we'll get into much more detail uh, at, again, the European Congress. Then down the line, we have measured biomarkers, um, and so we'll be able to look at some of the other effects and try and understand a little bit more uh, how and which patients benefit most.